Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more cross out here on the Gamer Guide channel with me, Rollin. And today we're going to be comparing this Komodo Dragon mech build I put together against the uh, already long standing and successful Titan Reaper, which I've upgraded a little bit. But uh, before we do that, I want to tell you guys we've got a special event here on the 29th of August and then the 30th and the 1st of September. There will also be special events. Today, a special challenge. If you unlock it, play five com uh, consecutive games, you get this portrait right here. Looks pretty cool, and it's a limited time thing. So make sure if you have time today, log in to cross out, play five games to pick up this cool uh, portrait. Now, what is it for, you might ask? Well, they just added brand new servers to Australia and New Zealand uh, for people in those parts of the world to play cross out uh, without all the extra lag and stuff like that. So that's pretty exciting. Hey, watch out there, buddy. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started here. We'll start with a Komodo Dragon, and we already took a hit there from a uh, howitzer, it looks like. But uh, I just put this together. I only had uh, four legs. I traded basically my, my lightweight tracks, which I wasn't really fond of, you might remember from the last video, for these four legs. Now, I've been told uh, that probably six legs is the way to go, but uh, four legs will at least get things working. You know, I guess uh, you could actually do a three-leg walker design, too. But uh, I feel like four is probably going to be a little more stable. Let's see if I can hit this guy with missiles here real quick. So the idea here is to see if a slow-moving vehicle like this is uh, going to be viable in the long-term play. Uh, one thing I did on this, as you see here, is I put a uh, minigun on the bottom uh, so it's a little harder to strip out, especially from all the shotgun builds that we get. Uh, so I did that on the top. I just stuck the missile launcher because uh, you can't really put that on the underside. And I wanted something to kind of compensate for its slow movement speed. So we'll see how this works. Uh, on the back, threw on a larger radar and used some of the uh, pieces you can shoot through to hopefully hold it on there a little bit as it's so important for the radar. And uh, man, somebody is really shelling me here. Let's we'll see if we can uh, find that guy with the howitzer and put a couple missiles in him. The only thing I'll say about this so far is that these legs are so slow. They could stand to be a little bit quicker, I think. Uh, especially for how expensive they are. They're really hard to get a hold of. And like I said, I sold my four lightweight uh, tracks for the four legs. As I figured it would be worth it just to have some different movement uh, variety in my arsenal. As I'm pretty happy with the large tracks as far as the tracks go. I might want to try to get some of the smaller ones uh, for lightweight vehicles in the future. But again, you know, it's a pretty expensive endeavor. So I'll have to do a little crafting. Alright, there we go. Got my first victory there. Let's see how... We did. It wasn't that great. I was kind of uh, just wandering around the place. Uh, I'm just telling IG here that I can only afford four of these tracks at the moment, but uh, I will eventually uh, get six and see how that works. And I'm at uh, level 29, so that gives me 74 parts that I have unlocked. And uh, when I get the rest of my uh, level up here in the engineers, I'll then get 80 parts. So. At that time, I'll probably go ahead and grab two more of these legs and stick them on there. If I want to continue with this design, I might completely change up the design, make it a little bit beefier with those extra six parts, too. Well, we're definitely the slowest thing out here on the field, I'll say. Let's see. Uh, we probably would be smart in most games to just play defense. And somebody's launching some uh, heat seekers up, so I'll have to watch out for that for sure. And uh, IG is definitely right. It is fucking expensive for sure. So let's see. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can not get hit by howitzers. And there we go. I saw somebody in the distance. A couple of the missiles locked on, but they are uh, ducked behind some of the crates. All right, we got missiles incoming. Let's take cover here real quick. All right. Thank goodness we had enough room. I didn't have to want to push that guy out of the way. Looks like he's got a triple cannon build too. So that should come in handy for sure we got a couple guys coming up on my right side here. Let me try to get around the corner. I did take off some of my scales. Those bastards. All right. Let's see if a couple missiles can't hit here. There we go. Finally doing some good with the missile launcher. And uh, you see I did put a uh, lookout, a scope on top too, to try to give me a little bit more range along with the uh, radar. And it seems like it was a pretty good uh, investment so far. There's that bastard. See, I can shoot all the way across the map as long as he's within my scope. So we'll get him back for that shot. I think that's probably the, one of the howitzer guys. There we go. We got him pretty good there. Now let's move here because he's probably going to retaliate and fire right on my position. No, he's uh, or that might be our guy up there. But we got a couple red guys here. 
See if I can put some shells into him. Now, one thing I'm noticing with this Komodo uh, Dragon build is that uh, my minigun is scraping uh, when I'm walking forward. And look how quick. I think I walk faster backwards than I do forwards. <laughs> what the heck? I got high speed reverse and slow forward speed. <laughs> Again, though, it might be because uh, I have that front gem slightly dragging on the ground. All right, so there is the guy that was hiding out. Let's see if we can put up a couple missiles into him. All right, cat got in the way. Uh, hopefully, he's doing some good up there. And nope, he looks looks like he got killed. But we'll try again with the missiles. See if we can get this guy this time. There we go. We we'll put it into him. A little slow pace on this uh, for sure. I'm. A, I think I do like having the ability to move a little bit faster. It's just my personal preference. And look how low I scored, even though uh, we got two kills. This is because I'm not having a lot of contact with enemies, as they pretty much are able to duck behind uh, different boxes and stuff with the uh, slow speed of this walker. So. All right, let's try a third and final game, and then I'm probably going to switch over to the Reaper Titan, and we'll compare. See how we do with uh, the more classic conventional build with two of the Reapers on top instead of using the missile launcher. And traffic jam. Let's see if I can get out of the way here real quick. Looks like we got another triple 88 cannon build. Those seem to be very popular. And I've noticed a lot of people, too, stacking wheels uh, with the frames like that. I might have to try that myself in the future. Uh, stacking rear wheels side by side so you have four on the back does up your maximum weight capacity but uh, I'm not sure or just uh, putting one piece of frame on the back I've seen two and a couple wheels paired in the back seem to also work all right let's see we got to find someone to shoot here they seem to all be taking cover pretty well behind those rocks there we got someone up there don't seem to be in range with my missiles, though. Or not in a place where I can actually hit them with the missiles. Let's see if we can come around to the side here. And uh, we'll try to flank them as much as we can. There we go. We'll wind a couple of those around that pillar. And hopefully we make a hit. There we go. We've got one of them hit, at least. 264. Not terrible. we got a couple of other guys coming this way, too. Alright, there we go. Now we can, now we can get some clear shots on them. But look how quickly... <laughs> How quickly they hide behind the rocks. Where are you going? Damn it. Alright, so we'll go ahead and fall smoke it. Nice name. <laughs> so things in the uh, Winds Clan have been going pretty well. We've recruited three new members uh, this week too. So welcome to you guys. Uh, last one being uh, Iceman, which we played with a little bit today. New players. If you guys are looking for a clan and cross out... Uh, just go ahead and add Rollin as a uh, friend in Crossout, and uh, I'll try to get you in the clan if you have some time to play with us. Uh, we'd probably want to do that first before uh, we give you a formal invite, just to make sure uh, everything is agreeable. And uh, anyway, we got lots more. We have 20 open slots, so looking to fill a couple more of them. There we go. Some nice missiles down in the gutter there. What? That guy's almost dead, and I think I probably take him out too with my minigun. Alright, got a kill. Alright, smoke it's gonna go down the valley. There's that guy at the howitzer. Holy crap. Did that howitzer just shoot down my missiles? I'm super impressed if that was the case. <laughs> it's easy to uh, shoot down missiles with a chain gun, but shoot down missiles with the howitzer takes some skill. Man, he is ripping me up. Let's see if we can retaliate here. We'll wind those around the corner. That should do pretty good damage to him. All right, we are up on number of players, so I don't want to die here. Let's see if I can get close, and hopefully he doesn't hit me directly. All right, took out my uh, took out my rear launcher, but fortunately we won. I guess due to time and more players. All right, so that is the uh, Komodo Dragon. Something I just threw together as a kind of basic walker. I'm using that alligator paint on it. But let's go now, and uh, we'll go back to the Reaper Titan. You've seen me play the older version of this, but I've upgraded a little bit. I added some more armor pieces, uh, great pieces, grill pieces, basically, on the front of those mini guns to help protect them. Upgraded the armor on the back, uh, and just added some better quality pieces from the uh, Steppenwolves here and there, too, to make it a little tougher. Uh, and brought the parts total limit up to 74 from the previous total, so it should be a little bit more tanky now than before. Uh, it performed pretty well last time I played it, though, so it's always been a pretty good build, but it's just no frills, just kind of basic, no hidden gun on the underside, it's just two mini guns 
And then I have a couple of coolers too. Now they did change the cooler mechanics uh, to not cool quite as quickly as they used to. Um, but it seems to still be working pretty good with two of those coolers in the back. Alright, we took that guy out pretty quick. A lot of people playing drones now, I've noticed, uh, especially those little sidekicks. They've been uh, popping up all over the place as they're easy to get a hold of and far, far cheaper than the fuse drones. Uh, though the fuse drones, I still feel like they need to be toned down a little bit. Um, so, and I've also noticed too, uh, we're getting a new faction and they talked a little bit about it yesterday with uh, a gun that seems like it would be good against drones. It's that Tesla gun. Basically an area effect gun that kills everything near you, uh, or attacks everything in a certain vicinity. So I think that's going to be a good weapon against drones. I'm kind of looking forward to see how that goes. Alright, we've already got three kills. We're doing pretty well here. Let's see if we can knock this guy's crossbows off. There we go. And we'll take his cab out. Alright, we've got another guy trying to sneak up behind me here. Now this thing is not fast, but it is very agile and maneuverable <laughs> as I fall over on my face. Let's we'll see, I can still probably hit this guy a little bit here from the ground, and hopefully I'll get somebody over here to lift me up, please. George. Damn it, George. All right, well that guy's right in my gun area. No, Twinkie Dinky. I've seen this guy before. I think he was in an Intoc video, Intoco video. There we go. Thank you. you got me flipped up. Let's finish these guys off real quick here. Looks like we're about to, to cap on the other side. We got someone over there. And so we'll probably win just from the cap. There we go. Nice. Ended up with uh, MVP in that game too. Let's see how we uh, did for total rep points. Uh, 64 and 2641 for the score. All right. Game two. And I got to tell you, man, I think that... Uh, the uh, Reaper Titan here is still my favorite build over the uh, Komodo Dragon, just basically because of speed. Uh, it's fun, though, playing something different, though, I'll say that. I would just like to see the mechs be slightly quicker. And it might also be that uh, I need the extra legs and maybe need to throw an engine on there to kind of speed things up. I'm also using the slowest cab on the Komodo Dragon, too. So that could be something to do with it as well as far as why I'm going so slow. But... Uh, this thing is so maneuverable and puts out such good damage that I'm probably going to prefer this build. Alright, let's take out these bots here real quick. I like jumping in here and just knocking them out to give our free our bots up and let them go and hit the enemies. Another thing I want to do too soon is uh, start the clan wars. Uh, I want to. We have enough people in the clan now where a lot of us are on at the same time, four of us. So we're probably going to bring you some uh, clans wars footage here in the near future. Let's see if we can finish this guy off here with his uh, dual caucuses, or triple caucuses, really. Let's see if we can shave that last one off there, get his cab. Taking lots of shots here. Alright, we got a guy here on our side. Dual miniguns. Trying to keep him from knocking my guns off here. Alright, now let's go head-to-head -head with this guy. See if we can shave, maybe get his guns out of off there. All right, there we go. One gun down, two guns down. And then we'll just hit his cab until he's dead. Hopefully he doesn't self-destruct on me. There we go, thank goodness. Great, we actually have some wheels left that will get us over there. <laughs> All right, they're capping. We're going to have to truck it uh, over there around the corner. And let's see, two of us are on this side. Hopefully the other guy's farther away, uh, closer to the caps to stop it. But just in case he loses... Let's bring our miniguns over there. We still have a decent amount of hit points. After all that battling, we still have 1606 on our cab. And then I think the total hit points on this is like 7400 or something like that. So it's not exactly a lightweight. But yeah, I think in the uh, Battle of the Komodo Dragon versus the Reaper Titan, I'm going to call the uh, Reaper Titan victorious in what I prefer to play. There we go. Another victory. And let's see how we did here. Uh, four kills. Nice. And 1696. Still a little better in the first game, but that was pretty good. All right, so for my final game here, I'm just going to take out the Flash Striker 76, which I upgraded a little bit with some cosmetics, but it's still a sub-5,000 build. But it's one of my favorite builds, actually, that I've been playing uh, lately. And I'm, lo I'm leveling up the Stone Def Driver, uh, trying to get my cannon power up a little bit. And this is kind of a fun hit-and-run vehicle. 
Oh, my God, did, or that bot did pretty nice by uh, nailing me right in the nose with those missiles. But we took care of him. Let's see if we can grab a couple more of these guys. I don't think he did. Huge damage to me. It looks like just a little bit got knocked off. So this thing is kind of a challenge because it doesn't have a huge uh, power score and a lot of extra hit points. So I'm kind of relying on speed here and uh, quickness to line my guns up and do the shots and then get out of harm's way. Let's see, we can come around here. It looks like we've got a cluster of those guys around on the right side. Surprise! Alright, we got the guy way down there giving me hell. Let's back off a little bit so our cannons get reloaded. There's Joe. He's got himself a uh, dual cannon build, too. There we go. Got both those guys. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this guy one more time. Another nice shot of 319. Missed him there. Let's go around this other side here. Get away from that machine gun fire and see if we can uh, take this guy out. Then we'll go back in and kill the other guys. Decent hit. Let's see if we can get one more. Damn it. I think I hit my own teammate there. There we go. That was a nice hit. He's, he's on fire. Looks like he's a truck cabin too, so one more shot should do it. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can go around the other side. We got one guy opposite. And this guy on fire. Let's finish him off real quick. Damn it. Missed him. Let's get a little closer here. We'll just fire one at a time. We're getting a little bit too much of a kickback at range. Lifts our entire truck off the ground. <laughs> nice. Okay. And looks like we got one more guy I can see. There's two more on their team. Oh, one more on their team now. There he is. We'll finish him off with a nice double shot. Sweet. All right. One more thing to do. I think I'm going to open up uh, some of my chests I earned over the last week. And let's see uh, what we get. Uh, did decently in that game. All right, back in the garage. So that is on the shot, by the way. If you guys want to try, uh, try out the Flash Striker 76, uh, it's a pretty fun build, and it's not uh, very part intensive. It does have some epic uh, ammo, but you can always just take that off and um, add your own stuff in. All right, so we had a couple of these chests. I'll probably open two and sell one. See what we get. All right, I'm not gonna settle for a tire. Let's try the reroll here. Got a little extra scrap, so we could uh, have a couple re retries. And I don't want to make it too expensive, but at 50 scrap, it's worth trying again, I think. All right, Docker Cabin, I could probably use that to craft some stuff. In fact, uh, I think some of the auto cannons use this as a part, so I'll go ahead and keep it. Let's see if we have better luck here with the second chest. All right, let's see what we get. Hopefully, we get a blue of some sort. Small wheel, no. This is super duper cheap. Try it again. I'm gonna see if we can try to pull out a blue on one of these. And a medium wheel. Well, it's better than the small wheel, but still not satisfied. Come on, big money. Give me something blue. Something better than those last two wheels. There we go. Nice. This is cool. I wanted one to try one of these. Uh, temporary cosmetics. This is an engineer flag basically I added onto my vehicle. Last uh, several days and then gives me a, a reputation boost and ev everybody on the team gets a 3% team boost too. So I'm going to keep that. That should be fun. Maybe I'll throw that on a future vehicle. Alright, let's open up the uh, bigger cooler chest. But I guess first let me go ahead and sell this Adventures container. As I probably should be selling all these uh, just to get the cash to buy scrap and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and sell that dude. And let's open up the one, the weekly container. I think they call it a miner's container. There's an option to possibly get a epic, though it is like a very low probability. But I'd be happy if I just got something neat that was a uh, rare, that I, especially if it's something I don't have. There we go, like this, the auger. And maybe, um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this, but maybe that will be what the theme of the next cross out uh, video will be. I'll try a melee build. And maybe throw some augers on there too. So, um, yeah, I definitely like this as an improvement over the old crates that were temporary parts. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed watching it. And uh, come back and see me real soon, too, here where I'll be doing uh, more cross out. And uh, I'm going to be doing a Robocraft video here, too. Uh, as some of uh, you might have noticed, uh, I am out in the Texas Houston area with uh, Hurricane Harvey, but I'm okay out here. 
Uh, we did get a lot of water and rain, but in my area we didn't flood at all. So don't worry about me, guys. But I'll see you again here real soon on the channel. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, catch you guys next time. Later!